If I type pip here and hit enter, as you can see, it shows me this error that says pip is not recognized as an internal or external command. So let's see how we can install pip. First, go to this URL. I'll have this link in the description below. And scroll down where you will see this URL. Just right click on this and click on save link as and save it wherever you want. Uh, we will want to access this file. So I'll just save this in downloads. Click save and now go to your downloads folder where here you will see this file. Now open command prompt here in this directory. To do that, a shortcut is just click here and type CMD here and hit enter and command prompt will open in your downloads directory as you can see here. Now just write Python and then get pip.py. So this means that we are running this file using Python. Now this will install pip. So if you get an error that says Python is not found or something like that, that means Python is not installed or Python is not added to environment variables. If that is the case, check the link in the description below. I'll show you how you can fix that too. After pip has been successfully installed, you will see this message that says successfully installed pip. And here you can see the path where pip is installed. So the default, this is the default path inside C, inside users, inside your current user, inside app data, local programs, Python, Python 312 scripts. So I'll just copy this. Okay, so we need to copy this because we need to add this to environment variables. If I type pip here, as you can see, I'll still get this error. So what I can do is, uh, I've copied this, so I'll close this now. I'll close the terminal, press Windows key and type environment. And you'll see this, that says edit the system environment variables. Click on this. Now click on environment variables. Here, click on this path here and click on edit. And at the bottom, paste the path that we had just copied. So if you did not see this path when this pip was installed, you can go inside your C users, your current user, app data, local programs, Python, and finally inside scripts. And now I'll just click on OK. Click on OK again and yeah, open command prompt again. And let's check if it's working now. So as you can see, this time pip has worked and it, it is showing the list of available commands as we can that we can use with pip so you can now just install anything any python module by doing something like this and it will install django or you can use anything else so yeah this is how you can install pip if you have any questions let me know in the comments below